Yeah, I want to say sorry, folks. I'm not really great at editing or doing making videos, but you know, I'm all about doing observations, and uh, I wanted to present this. Now, I really want you to look at uh, beneath the vehicles as they uh, come up this hill, and you can see how the underneath of your vehicles get compressed, and then as they get closer towards me, they get stretched. So we can see even with the truck there in the, in the middle there, um, how it kind of looks like he's driving in the grass, but he's in a median. Uh, but also look at how the mir mirage acts as a mirror. And as it acts a, as a mirror, it literally hides things. It cuts things off. It redirects your vision upward, not downward, even down a hill. So when you look at underneath these cars, sometimes it looks like the bottoms are dragging. And then again, as they get closer, they rise up. And then you start seeing their tires mirror, which make them look even taller and stretched out. These are some of the effects that you get from mirages. And uh, this is what occurs. So you know, as you are trying to look at this, uh, it appears as if it's water on the road but we know that that is an illusion and so is uh, everything else that occurs it's an illusion and it gives you the illusion of something curving downward but in all reality it is actually being cut off bottom first and that you can tell by just watching these vehicles and the underneaths of their cars uh, and how they rise up as they approach you and you start seeing them but also you can also see the mirroring occurring underneath now I cut some of this video um, I edited it a little bit just so I wouldn't have to make it as long uh, but again here I wanted to show how these cars as they go away and excuse me I was hand holding my camera at the time but as this car goes farther from us you can see how it gets pulled down into the mirror and the bottom seems to disappear first this is the flattest part of the road that I could find up into uh, the farthest distance away um, excuse the focus, I'm using manual focus too to try to manually focus it in. And you can look at the cars coming in the other lane and also look at how the mirror cuts right over the median and you start seeing the mirroring of the other side of the road. The signs, um, you know, again, I, I'm sorry, but I, I was trying to get low with the camera hand holding it. And you can see how this water appears to be raised up off the road or the mirage it is raised up which also cuts things off and it also creates a ramp effect so everything farther away gets cut off more and more the farther away that it gets this is how I see things um, and you know there's a good example right there of the underneath of the car getting sucked down toward the ground and being hidden underneath. Um, again, I tried to pick out the flattest part of this road to do this observation and I think I found a very good flat spot uh, but it does, the road does curve up in front. It curves to the left. Um, now, I raise up. I was down low. I raise up to show you that this road is pretty flat. And that is why you get this surface mirage, because it occurs on surfaces, on flat surfaces, or edges of flat surfaces, like the top of a hill. You'll see a, um, a mirage occur. But now I get down low again, and what I'm going to do here is zoom in on this mirage and show you the effects of how it actually reflects flex upward and that's what cuts things off farther away it actually does create a ramp it's a mirrored ramp it ramps things up and then it literally cuts everything off 
below. Just like the roadway out there in the far deep or, or in the background, it is ramping up going over the top of that road. And you can see everything reflecting in it. But, you know, as I zoom in closer to this, you can see how it just, uh, it's actually like a distortion too. But this is what actually, you know, when you have a combination of angular resolution, uh, perspective, and this miraging effect, lensing, this all, if it's happening all at one time in a combination with each other, can you imagine how much of that horizon is actually being cut off? Also, mirages pull things down. So when you're over water, how can you tell that you are filming a mirage if the water or if the mirage looks like water, how do you tell that you're filming a mirage? Well, I got a video that I'm going to put out as part two of this, where I'm going to do two videos. Um, one where my camera is actually higher than the other camera will be, um, but you see the mirroring occur worse. And, and I'm going to make that the first video where I've got my camera higher. And then the second video will be where I got my camera even lower. But I have a better visibility day, uh, a little less lighting, and I don't get as much of the mirroring or the miraging. What actually causes the mirage? Um, I think that there's several things that causes it. Um, and I do think that the heat uh, actually plays a role in it. Uh, the hotter it gets, I see that uh, the more miraging I get on roadways. Um, and, of course, it's a blacktop. So, you know, it's going to absorb more heat and then uh, release the heat out, too. So you're going to get more on that. But, you know, these are the things that I'm, I'm actually going out and doing and uh, doing my own research. Um, there's a lot of uh, mirage material on YouTube. That you can go to and you can look at which you know I don't question them I just wanted to do my own uh, personal observations of the mirages Gap at the top of the road there. See it there. Now, the question is, is can we see it from the other direction? See if we're getting any mirage at this side. 
almost. You can see the road heating up. And there is a little bit of a mirage line there. You can see also the distortion caused from the, the heat of the road distorting the air above it. I'm going to walk up the road here and see if I can get another shot at the other end. So, let me swing my camera back around again. Also, look at how the whiteout is uh, at the angle that I turn the camera and it cuts out. I mean, it blinds you from seeing the power line that's there. Right there. See what I mean? That's the angle of light. see where there's a gap missing so it will cut things off too so there's more than one thing other than perspective that cuts stuff off so you get cut off big time with the combination of effects okay, let me zoom back and I'm gonna walk up closer to that hill <clears throat> and see what I get from up there Okay, uh, watch as I focus in on the mirage at the top of the hill to start seeing this gap. That gap is the mirage that's cutting you off and redirecting your line of sight. It will redirect your line of sight and later on. I'll show you that in another part of this video. But also the distortion because you're trying to focus on either the water or I mean either the road or what's farther beyond uh, but it does cut out a gap and it leaves a gap in there as you can see here it cuts out a gap See how the power line wants to get pulled down, not up? Let's see if I can it's distortion, yes, but it's also wanting to get pulled down when you're trying to focus in on uh, you know, a surface and something farther beyond. It, it, it causes an issue with your camera and even our eyesight. Even look at this one power line. Uh, it's getting pulled down as it gets toward the top of the road. That's something that you can bank on that this is what causes this and also that missing gap that blocks you out from seeing the bottoms of boats when you're over the water. That's 
what cuts out votes. On top of perspective, it cuts you off. And then when you got a big long line of mirroring, it redirects your line of sight upward, not downward. of the tower on that on the roadway and how it cuts everything off here it hides things that mirage you can see right where it starts miraging at it's like water on the road It's really not water. It's just reflecting what's above it on the angle, on the angle that is I'm at to this hill reflects. Focus it in on the tower. start seeing through that mirage where it's blurred out and that's what we see with perspective so zoom back the gap it hides it farther you get from it, the more it hides it. Or the worse the miraging is, the more it hides. So this is one of the other reasons why you cannot see <laughs> across the world. Because you just got too much atmosphere that blocks everything out. I hate to use the word atmosphere, about density of the air, other effects like the miraging, it causes the distortion too. It helps cause distortion along with the density of the air, water molecules. There you go. All right, maybe I can get another shot somewhere. Let me uh, spin it around here and see if I can shoot the other end see if there's any effect down there. Back up here. And let me see if I can straighten out my camera too. underneath so the reflect reflections getting pulled down and distorted and elongated too a little bit of a sliver I'll see more of a mirage to mirroring effect. Let me shut it down.
So miraging does is pulls things down. You can obviously see. And the worse it gets, the worse it gets. <laughs> I'm going to move up a little bit here. my camera out. And we can still see how it pulls things down. trying to focus in on one or the other is the problem because your camera is trying to focus in on the surface and or if you got it on autofocus it's trying to go back and forth so I may pick the happy in between but everything is still distorted again once you get the bottom into focus See how it being distorted and pulling, getting pulled down, not up, not up, people. You see anything going up? No, nothing's going up, people. It's all getting pulled down, down. Look at the mirror. Just like what we get over the top of water. It mirrors above. Everything above gets mirrored. Also see a gap. It gets blocked out too sometimes. Focus it in. Okay, the white signs behind the yellow sign. That focus in this is by order of it is Hernando County underneath it. But I can't see through that distortion. No matter what I do, I can't see through the mirror. This is what happens with the sun, too. Get the mirage in the focus here. And you can see how it reacts. or reflect your vision upward. It redirects your visuals. It redirects your sight upward, not down. So if anything, they got it backwards. Science has it backwards. Good example. Backward science to control your mind.
Here you go.